Here's an example of using the precision deesser. There's some sibilance on a vocal track I recorded. Here's a section that I've looped. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. I'm going to use the Precision DSer to improve the track. The Precision DSer gives you the tools to work by ear or with an analyzer. I'll turn on the Spectral Analyzer to help me zero in on the right frequency. Since sibilance is a peak feature, I'll turn off the average trace. Now I can use the encoders or the filter dot in the graph to set the filter's frequency and bandwidth. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. Now I'll listen to the audio in a few different ways. First is the detector signal, which lets me hear the audio within the filter boundaries. Next, I can listen to what's not being processed by switching to the out-of-band signal. This will let me make sure that I've gotten all of the audio I want to process inside the filter. The master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. I'll switch to the de signal and adjust the threshold until the de effect sounds correct. Then switch between the removed material and out of band listen modes to make sure that I'm removing the right amount of material. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off. When you change any setting in a processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom Processing block, the master enable will automatically turn on if it's off. This ensures that you'll never make phantom adjustments, thinking that your changes aren't audible when the processor is off.